data is the key to planning the strategies of the next generation, how we're going to keep a generation healthy. It's about leading um, clinicians and, and augmenting their, their decision-making activity towards making the, the correct diagnosis quicker. We expect globally for there to be 160 million devices dedicated to healthcare by 2020. So the NHS has got a fantastic opportunity as a holder of large quantities of data on a national level to really benefit from mining that data to understand diseases better and potentially to you know, develop machine learning solutions. When we talk about data or healthcare data, I think it's important to think about two kinds of data. You have your structured data, and if you think about structured data as being data which is sitting within a database, a discrete measurement, so maybe it's your blood pressure, temperature, heart rate, for example. The second type of data I think is important to think about is the unstructured data. So that can be documents that have been created as part of the medical record. It could be medical photography, it could be your, your medical imaging record from radiology, so CT scans, MR uh, exams, etc. And they're much uh, harder to make available for, from a machine perspective. Updating the data, updating the infrastructure, Will, should come from the will of the government. But as it stands, they're trying to do it themselves. I think what should be done is to create the infrastructure, regulation and the platform around communicable data. In the NHS specifically, because we're also bringing new technology to try and talk to and fit in with very old, 30, 40 year old um, technology, that in itself makes it difficult. Healthcare in the UK is probably at the weaker end in terms of sectors who are investing in protection. The NHS is probably, in the UK, is probably the biggest target because it's the largest store of personal information on any systems anywhere in the UK. The way that we currently manage data is uh, locking it under the NHS is altruistic approach. The privacy idea should be given to the patient. I think if we're going to make the data available or the structured data available for, for research purposes, maybe for the development of AI technologies. It's about how do we anonymise that information, uh, and not just new data, it's how do we anonymise the huge swathes of data they've already acquired over time. So there's a balance to be struck between sharing data with those that are trying to develop new solutions to improve healthcare, while protecting it from people that might misuse that healthcare. And I think that's, a, that's an area where suitable de-identification of data, stripping out the personal element of the data, but retaining as much of the data as possible is, is a good solution and a good way forward.